Oh my. So only if you could actually see stars with one of these, that'd be awesome, right? But we have something even better planned. We are going to go to the most secluded part in West Texas, in the darkest place in the world to capture stars the right way. So come with us if you think we can get that dream nighttime shot. So um, let's do it. This is actually a really cool place in Marfa that, oh look, this one's for a kid, it's small. Uh, or for someone short. I'm not judging. And it's a really cool thing. It's called Marfa Lights. And people come out here to observe these mysterious lights that come out in the middle of the night. So people come from all over the world to see this observatory, but that's not what the video is about today. And I've actually taken nighttime photography right here too. Let's get back to the road trip. We have about another hour of driving till we get to this Airbnb. And I just can't wait to be like completely secluded. So. Let's get there and let's see how crazy this place really is. We made it to the Prada Marfa. This is such an iconic place. If you ever come to Marfa, you obviously have to come here. It's literally a Prada store in the middle of nowhere. So it's definitely cool. You see yourself in like a little reflection and everything too. So Ali is definitely getting her shots. <laughs> Okay, so we're almost there, and when we were looking for all the air different Airbnbs, there was a lot of different options, a lot of different colors. Um, Allie wanted one specifically. I wanted the pink one. Yeah, she wanted a pink one, which I was definitely not doing. I think the windows are gonna be the best part for actually seeing the lights. Yeah, um, Allie got, she got the color that she wanted, obviously. So there's a hammock right over here. Um, shower outside, everything is completely like off-grid in the house but the coolest thing is the windows at nighttime to be able to see the stars so so there's a bunch of other airbnbs out here but they're all extremely secluded so we are very very off grid which is perfect for this zero light pollution it's actually ali's first time like shooting the stars so it's gonna be kind of like a learning opportunity for her you guys can learn too it'll be a whole fun thing i used to really enjoy shooting stars and i don't shoot them as often anymore so yeah i'm excited there's literally nothing for miles here so it's probably really dark i don't think she believes me until she sees the stars at night so let's get going we're gonna get cleaned up we're gonna relax a little bit and then we're gonna shoot some stars so let's do that okay so we just finished getting cleaned up and i want to show you guys a couple of things that are worth mentioning about this area maybe that kind of make it kind of cool so look at this it has a hammock kind of comfortable let's sleep here tonight look up at the stars i don't know <laughs> It has a grill. I don't know who's sweet that is. <laughs> it has this nifty little bench. I guess it's for like an umbrella. And it even has this. And it even has its own little shower. It's not very guarded, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's it. Um, on to the next. We're basically waiting for the sun to completely set and then we can start actually preparing for stargazing. We're basically just gonna get comfortable outside, set up the cameras, get them on a tripod, and then start doing some sample shots to see what our best settings can be. The fact that there are no clouds whatsoever means it's going to be a very good night. But if you guys are trying to get into stargazing, all you need is a tripod and a camera. I mean, it could literally be an iPhone. You could do it with a GoPro. So many different other camera options. It does not need to be a very expensive high-end camera to pull this off whatsoever. You'll just get better quality if you do. And that's it. And I'm gonna show you a couple other examples we get to shooting with like ISO and lowering your shutter. So let's get to it. Ali capturing the drone shots. Oh my gosh. We just came back out here after eating dinner and it is insane. We have both never seen stars this intense before it feels like you can literally reach out and grab them turn the lights off oh my goodness let's actually get into shooting the picture so let's do it okay now all you're gonna want to do is like have it sit there if you let it sit there for long enough without moving, 
table. It's gonna turn out so good. I don't know why I'm whispering, like it's not lighting at all. You see how long the shutter's open for? Finally, it just clicked. That was 30 seconds with it open, which is insane. So, um, I left it open for 30 seconds. Typically, it just kind of depends. But 30 seconds, ISO about, I think I'm at like 3200 right now. I think I'm gonna bump it though, because I don't know if it's gonna be bright enough. But that's the thing, depending on what you're shooting, we'll all play a big range in that. I might actually close off the aperture a little bit more because the focusing is a little bit harder. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so we've been taking a bunch of shots and the sweet spot that I'm at right now is leaving the aperture open for 30 seconds and cranking the ISO up to about 6400. So, again, each one's different, but right now it's looking great. So now it's just about capturing what you want to capture. Turn the light off. Let's see this one. Okay, guys, I think this is the shot right here. We tried a bunch of different angles. It's very hard, once again, to know exactly what you want. So you have to move around a lot. I think this is it. I think this is going to be the last shot that we take right here. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's the picture. That is the picture. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> We're good. Let's go. Oh my god, we got the picture. We got the picture. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The sunrise. Oh my god, we were out so late last night shooting, but I have to show you guys the shots we got. They're very worth it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, so it is the next morning and I'm not gonna lie, we did not sleep the best last night because we were up late shooting, it got really cold, but I'm so excited to actually look at these pictures because they looked crazy last night, but I have not seen them yet, especially not on my laptop, so let's see what these things look like. <laughs> Whoa, this looks sick. Dude, that is the picture. It is so sharp. Oh my gosh, dude. okay, I'm so glad how these turned out. So much better than I could have imagined, but it was definitely, especially with taking astrophotography, it's always a process, right? You can't really rush it. Just trying to get a quick picture doesn't work when you're trying to shoot the stars, so definitely take your time, get that perfect shot as I feel like I definitely got with these. And yeah, have fun with it. This was a lot of fun. Coming out here for this special place, I mean, I've never seen the stars like that in my whole life and i've traveled to so many different places trying to shoot astrophotography so this was very special i plan to release these in an upcoming print launch so i'll put the link down below and just i'll keep you guys updated for when i actually do drop these because these pictures are insane but we need to get going we have so much more things planned so stay tuned for some of the upcoming content because <laughs> we're doing a lot more out here so yeah we actually need to go though because we just sent balloons up into the sky and we gotta go track them so i'll keep you guys posted for the upcoming video so see you guys then i saw it going south that way so 